Hello my dear students, now we are just going to derive the relationship between CP and CV or you can say that prove that CP minus CV is equal to R. You know very well that delta H is equal to delta U plus PDV from the enthalpy equation. I can put plus here, I can put minus here depending that work done by the system or work done upon the system. And we know very well that from first law we have to attack on this delta U now. Delta U is equal to Q plus PDV. If I will put this value, equation 2 value in equation 1, the value of delta U, then delta U, delta H is equal to become Q plus PDV and minus PDV. This will be cancelled out and all these we are taking at the constant temperature, constant pressure. When we are taking this one at constant pressure, then delta H becomes QP. And we know very well that C is equal to Q by delta T. And whenever I take this one at constant pressure, so what I will get? I will get that CP is equal to QP by delta T. From here, what I will get? QP is equal to CP delta T and QP is equal to what? Delta H. So, delta H is equal to what? CP delta T. In the same way, we can understood the CV also. You know very well that C is equal to Q by delta T and whenever it will come at constant volume, constant volume, we can drive the relation QV is equal to CV delta T. QV is equal to CV delta T and we know that delta U is equal to Q plus PDV and now we are doing work at constant volume constant volume so PDV will become zero because that pressure is also zero and volume we are considering constant so delta U becomes what? QV not zero QV and QV from upside, we know that CVDT. So delta U become QV. So we can write down that delta U is equal to what? CV delta T. Now take the enthalpy equation again. Delta H is equal to what? Delta is equal to delta U plus PDV. Now from this first equation, in place of delta H, we can put CP delta T. And in place of delta U, we can put CV delta T and PDV is equal to what? R delta T. We know that from enthalpy equation which we have done in the last class. Now delta T, delta T and delta T cancel. CP is this side and CV is coming from that side. CP minus CV is equal to R. Important relations can be asked in the exam and has been asked in exams a number of times. CP minus CV and uh, if you will do it in physics also then CP by CV is equal to gamma and that will help you to find out the atomicity of molecules also. So in the next class we will do some more important topic in that one we will discuss that gives free energy and spontaneity of any reactions and uh, we will discuss here itself gives free energy or uh, stop this class we will discuss in the next class gives free energy spontaneity entropy